Hi, this is Amy and I'm the librarian for the School of Education. This video will show you how to find peer-reviewed articles in a library database and how to find and use books from the library catalog. First, we're going to go to the library's website, which is library.uncg.edu. From here, we're going to go to Research Guides by Subject. We are going to select Educational Research Methodology from the list of subjects. This guide will help you locate many different types of information related to ERM. Then we will click on ERM 604, located on the left side of the page. Since today we're looking for an article, we are going to click on the Finding Articles tab. Here you will find links to databases with articles about education. I'm going to click on Education Source. If you're accessing this from off campus, it will require you to log in with your UNCG username and password. If I'm looking for articles on inclusion in preschool, I'm going to type inclusion in the first box and preschool in the second. Then I'm going to click search. When you're searching library databases, it's best to put one word or idea in each box. The search connector and tells the database that I want to see only articles that include both terms. Now I can see that I got 643 results. Most of these are articles from scholarly journals, but there are also a few articles from teaching magazines. I can limit just to articles in scholarly journals by checking the scholarly peer reviewed journal box on the left side of the page. I can also see that my articles in this set of results go all the way back to 1933. If I want to see only more current information, I can move the slider over to a more recent date. Now that I have a smaller set of articles to look at, I can scroll through and see if any titles sound relevant to me. I'm going to click on the title of number five. This takes me to a page with an abstract and other information. The abstract gives me a summary of the article. If I decide I want to read it, I can use the full text link on the left. If I want to save it for later, I can email myself a copy, save it, or copy a permalink so that I can access it again. There's also a cite option. If you click on that, you will see computer generated citations in a variety of styles. These are a helpful starting point, but always check it against a reputable citation example because they are frequently incorrect. Sometimes you will see a link that says check for full text. That means this database doesn't have the article, but we are likely to have another database that does. If your initial search doesn't give you exactly what we need, try to brainstorm other keywords that might help you find information on your topic. For example, I could use children with disabilities instead of inclusion or pre-kindergarten instead of preschool. I recommend trying different combinations of search terms until you find one that gives you what you need. If you're interested in finding a book, the library catalog can help. On the library's homepage, you will see a red search box. The most efficient way to search for books is to click on the catalog tab. Here you can search for an author, a specific title, or a topic. If I'm interested in books on inclusion in preschool, I can type inclusion and preschool and find books that talk about this topic. The and in my search works just like it does in the databases and lets the catalog know that I want to find books about both topics.
The second one that comes up is an ebook. So I can view it from anywhere. If I click on the View Now link, I can open up the book and look at it. You will likely be asked to log in before you can view the ebook. If I go back to my list of search results, I can limit just to ebooks on this page. I can do that if I need to find a book that I can use immediately. If you have more time, checking out a print book can also be an option. Number four is only available in print. If I want to learn more about it, I can click on the title. Here I can see that the book is currently available for checkout in the library. If I scroll down a little further, I can see the list of chapters. This can help me decide if I'm interested in this book. If you live outside Guilford County and are taking all of your classes online, you can have print books mailed to you. If this book is something that you think would be useful, you can request it. I'm going to open the library's homepage on another tab. Under services, there's a link for interlibrary loan. Here's some basic information on this page and a link to the interlibrary loan request page. Here you will log in with your UNCG username and password. the same one that you use to access your email in Canvas. If you have never used the system before, it will ask you for some information about yourself. Please be sure to enter your home address accurately because this is the address they will use to mail books. After you have entered your information, you will see this screen. If you're interested in a book in Jackson Library, choose the Request a Loan option on the left side of the page. Here you will type in the information that you have about the book from the library catalog. In the notes field, be sure to say that you are a distance education student so they will know to mail the book to you. When you have filled out the form, click the submit request button and your request is complete. The library will mail you a book along with a prepaid return label. If you have questions about library services, please feel free to email me or use the library's Ask Us service or chat with the librarian for assistance. Thanks for watching.